So the, <clears throat> the Hoffman elimination is fairly simple. You know that when an uh, al when a HCl with this, I guess you can say, um, HCl combines with say um, nitrogen, or of course like this nitrogen group contrives to combine with an R group, it'll basically attach itself to the R group's carbon and it'll pop out the H portion of it. That's fairly simple. So what you should know is this: is that once it does, once it it get it grabs onto it, once this uh, nitrogen doesn't all, doesn't amine group doesn't actually have any spare electrons, and it somehow manages to bump its way. It has a spare electron and and it keeps its charge. It presses onto here, but nothing can happen once it hits uh, R group. Like it can't it can't um, find a way to remove one of these R groups because they make very poor leaving groups. So knowing that, you know that this is going to remain positive. So how is it now going to fix this issue of being, you know, positively charged? Well, the only thing it can actually do is go through Hoffman's reaction, which is an elimination reaction. So we know that in elimination reaction, it'll have to take out a bond here. It'll, this bond is going to be broken. So once this bond is basically removed, boom, this one here is taken out. What's left over is, well, it has to make a, it's going to be a positive carbocation so since it's positive it'll have to make a double bond here or a double bond there now we know that it's likely going to just make a double bond with the one that can uh, absorb the most amount which you now take a look which one of these actually has the most hydrogen so if this one here has the most hydrogen what will happen is uh, this is going to make a double bond here it's going to be the most May, this is going to be the major product right here. 